Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Dragon Dogma 2 video. Another one. That's right, we're back at it again and today I'm going to show you how you can get the Grand Curaz Armor. And this is so cool and it's one that you can miss. But no worries, I got you covered. Let's go! Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started at the Seafloor Shrine. There is a ton of items. In order to get there, you're gonna to have to travel from the Har Village into the Stormwind Cave. Now, once you are inside, there is an exclamation mark that you're gonna to travel to on the basement floor, number one. All right, that's what we're gonna do. It's huge over here, right? And you can easily get lost. There's a quest that can bring you over here, one of the main missions. But after that, they just tell you to, you know, travel to a new location now you can explore here if you want or you can just go ahead and finish your story i suggest that you explore there's a ton of items over here and this place is huge so i'm really trying to do my best to show you where i'm at on the map and then once you make your way over here you can follow this direction where i'm going all right so let's do this my dude so here we are, we started from the Star Moon Cave and we're making our way towards that huge location underground where the story will bring you to. All right, so now you know where I'm at. There's this huge room right here where I am at and follow the direction where I'm going. Like I said, you can easily get lost in here. So I didn't want to cut the video, didn't want to speed it up. You know, I just wanted to just walk you through it kind of and hopefully you'll know exactly where I am at, all right? So, here we go. Now, once you finish coming from that huge room, remember I told you we're heading towards that exclamation mark, there's gonna be a few of them that's gonna pop up on your screen, all right? Now, the one that we are headed to is where we're gonna be getting this loot, and like I said, you, we're traveling up, down, from room to room, you can easily get lost, so hopefully I'm doing a good job directing you to where we're going because <laughs> you can easily get lost like i said so once you make your way over here uh we're going to be heading down these stairs like so and from these stairs finally we are going to be really close by where we need to be all right now we are here you need to break down this rock and there's this enemy right here um he's tough all right he's he's no pushover and he has a shield and a sword and he'll bash you. And he's just a, a challenging dude. Not that you're not gonna beat him or anything, but I mean, you see the damage that I'm putting on him. Uh, he, he's, he's a sponge a little bit. So yeah, he's, he's definitely one that not to be trifled with. But after you finally finish taking him out, right behind him is going to be the chest that we are looking for. And it is some pretty freaking good armor. Like I said, you can easily pass this up. You don't have to come down here and search for it, but I highly suggest you do, because there's a ton of items down here. And one of those items is the Grand Curaz. So let's have a look at this bad boy. It is pretty cool. It's for the fighter, it's for the warrior, really high defense, decent magic defense, and knockdown resistance, a little bit of strike resistance as well. So boom, there you have it, my dude. That is how you're gonna get it. Now get out there and add it to your collection today. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video. Hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing and welcome. Don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpool Game below the wide variety of videos. So once again, thanks for watching. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.